Hey folks, Quilly King here, and welcome to episode two of our Let's Play of Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead. Last episode, we started a character named Danica Larray in this very terrible world over here, although uh, she looks a lot cooler than she should, because these are glasses, not shades, but there you go. This is a very terrible world. She woke up at school in a world that has fallen into chaos. Just overnight, zombies have taken over the world, or at least our local town over here. We don't know what's happened at all. We barely escaped from our school. We went off and hid into the forest, and we do know there's a, an old abandoned mine to the south, and I am heading in that direction, hoping that it is a place of cover and safety. I don't know what to expect about a mine at all. I have no, no context, I've been avoiding, like again, I've tried to learn as many of the core mechanics as possible, but I know very little in terms of the world, in terms of spoilers and what to expect. So we're going to go down there and hope that things can be. On the way there, we are going to continue to sort of generically um, rummage through the brush over here to see what we can see. We've already gotten a couple of nice things. We've gotten a glass jar, which will be really helpful for us because we can boil water in there. Not that I know where we're going to get water from right now. That's, that's a problem for a little bit later. Safe mode is on, which is good, so we're going to keep checking the underbrush over here. Uh, we are still comfortable, although the temperature is falling. We found some wild veggies. Very nice. Something to eat. We are, um, actually, I don't know if we're still getting survival skill from this. Eh, we're at 9%. Uh, I think we might technically still get survival skill from here. If you've got zero survival skill, you can get to level one in, like, like moments simply by going around and looting the underbrush like this. But, let's see. Anything else? Eh, 11%. Okay, it's still getting up there. Possibly helps that we're a fast learner, I suppose. Put you, and you, and you. Even if you don't find anything, it increases your skill. Veggies, all right. Anything on the map over here? Squirrels, chipmunks, nope, that's good. Uh, you can search these bushes, but okay, yeah, it's a, the seasonal thing. Mostly it's the underbrush you wanna look through. And uh, note to that, we'll pick up the newspaper page and then find anything in there, okay. We'll grab some more rocks. There we go. There's a few things we can do with that. We're starting to get a little chilly. Now, are we... Where are we? Oh, we're still miles from the uh, from the mine. Well, not miles. Giant rattlesnake. 32 to the west. It's ignoring us right now, so that will be safe. Um, I'd like to go a little closer to the woods to find more underbrush here. I think I'll uh, oops, zoom out a bit. That's what I meant to do. Although, shift V again. Yeah, nothing of interest. The game looks a little better when you're closer up, but it's nice to see... A larger area. Check that. You. And you. Nothing. Okay, yeah, our hands are getting cold. Now, we're not wielding anything right now, right? Yeah. So my hands are actually in my pocket. My jacket has pockets. A cardboard box. Alright, we'll pick you up. I'm assuming we can just rip you apart for material. I don't actually know all that interaction. Now, if we don't find, like, and, you know, the odds of finding, you know, matches or lighter in this underbrush is probably fairly low. A three liter glass jar. Don't mind if I do. So I have, so a regular glass jar was, I think, a half a liter. It was a three liter one. Can hold a lot more stuff. They are sealable, so I can carry around stuff and store things in there. Most likely probably store things at home, but they can also be used for boiling water. Really good. And a certain amount of cooking, I think, can be done like that. Because you can boil water and then boil something in it. Withered plant is really good. Um, we don't have enough carrying capacity. It's good because you can make, um, you can make fibers out of it. So this cardboard box, I can disassemble you. Might yield paper. This container can store one liter. It doesn't sound like a very useful container, though. Tell you what, I'm just going to drop the cardboard box. And I'm just going to pick up all the withered plants, uh, which I think I'm still going to have to leave one behind. Oh, my hands are empty, right? So I... Oh, it auto-wielded one of the plants. Did it really? Yeah. So I put one of the plants in my hand to save room. Um, if I wield this glass, and by wield, I mean I'm just going to hold it. Can I wear it? Oh, sorry. It's asking me what to do with the um, with the other thing. Hold on wield this glass jar 
And with the withered plants, I'm just going to drop it for now. But I should now be able to pick it up. Yeah, I got tons of inventory capacity because I've got the glass jar in my hand as opposed to my backpack. I got to be careful not to try to beat someone with it, though, because it'll smash right away. Wild vegetables. Um, we got a heavy stick, which I can still carry. Okay, because that could be something else I could wield instead. I don't know what the relative bulk of the two things are. Okay, we're basically full, so I should stop looking for stuff maybe right now. And if I go west, so there's a... Uh, what the hell is this critter? Oh, it's an opossum, but it's ignoring me. Okay. Um, if I go west, there's a parking lot and the mine there. So I've got safe mode on, so I can just... Oh, there's another rock here. Can I hold another rock? No, just barely not. Okay, it's fine. I'm just going to hold this, because we're on safe mode. If there's any threatening stuff, it would let me know. There isn't, apparently, which is good. Parking lot over here. Oh, there's some more cars up here, too. There's quite a few different cars. We can check these later to see if anyone can, any of them can run as is. But even if they can't, we'll be able to get some components out of this. Uh, I'm trying to remember, if we pull the seatbelts out, I think we can get, like, thread and make rope and stuff like that. Or the seatbelt basically does count as rope for, for crafting stuff. Um, but I think we might need a screwdriver for it. Now, here is, I guess, the mining structure. Okay, I mean, we're still in safe mode. It's got three little buildings. This one's open. What is this? <gasps> a, wait, a gasoline pump? I wonder if it works. Just, just scooting a boot here. Got another rock down there, which is nice. No threatening creatures. We got a manhole cover? Can't. It's a manhole cover. I wonder. I bet you I can pry it open with like a crowbar if I build one. Okay, let's check. Can I open this door? Yes. I'm gonna use Shift X and peek. Oh. An empty room. Elevator, powerless controls. If I get power to the controls, I wonder if I can go down in the mines. The computer is interesting because you can use it to... It's light. So if I go here... Actually, it's bright because the door is open. If I were to close the door... So now it's very dark. And a lot... Of, you can't read and you can't craft in the very dark. But I believe there's enough glow from this terminal over here that we can do crafting and reading next to it. This will be a great little base. Unfortunately, unlike starting as the, uh, the evacuee, we don't have anything to sort of tear down curtains and smash things, but it's something. I guess I'm still going to hold what I've got on me right now. Open this door. Door's locked. Now I can just smash it. I'd rather wait until I've got a crowbar so that I can pry it open and then I can still close it and things. Okay, let's close this door for now. And right next to the computer, left hand will be frosting it next few hours. We're still chilly. Okay, right next to this computer, we're going to drop a bunch of stuff. So, uh, you can drop one thing very quickly with D. Um, actually, are we in multi-drop? Right, I guess we are. I guess shift D that's, it lets you choose a direction. That's the difference. We'll drop these sticks. I'm going to drop everything. The thing is, you don't have to have something in your, in your hand or your inventory to craft. It can be on the ground, uh, even in a square adjacent to you, and you can still do things with it. Uh, we'll basically put down, put down everything. Um, and that'll include the held weapon, <laughs> the glass jar. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. So our inventory is now empty. Oh, we still have a newspaper page. Uh, drop. Okay. So for crafting, you can do that with the ampersand key, which is shift seven opens up your crafting menu. And this shows you everything that you can currently craft. Recipes that you know, or recipes that you have in books that are nearby. And you can see, because of our survival training, we can do quite a few recipes. This is only with level two of, of survival. And you can have like, I don't know, I don't know if it like if like 10 is effectively the the cap of whatever I don't know if there is a cap I have no idea for recipes um, There's not a lot we can do right now, although apparently we can make a stone knife Because we got the withered plants, right? so Okay, this is very good um, a stone knife So we can even make a sharp rock. We don't only have butchering right a stone knife we can make by having a stone, which we then hit with something that counts as hammering. Now, a stone counts as having hammering. So if you've got two stones, you can do this. You're, you're napping them, right? K-N-whatever, K-N-A. 
you're whacking them together and making a sharp edge. So by having a stick and the withered plants or some sort of string or something like that, we can form a knife. That's going to be really good because the stone knife has a, the cutting quality. It counts as a cutting tool, level one. It also counts as butchering, so it can help us butcher things a little faster. Um, yes, we're absolutely going to craft that first. Okay, it took a little while. We did craft it, though, and we now have it in our inventory. And I, do I, I must have a little... Oh, I do have a little bit of fuzz in my mouse. It keeps not moving. It's a good thing this is mostly a keyboard-driven game, or that would have driven me crazy. So I'll drop the knife, because we don't need to carry it right now. Well, we may end up walking around with it, but we'll keep our hands mostly free right now. So now if I load up the crafting menu, I'll have a few other options than before. Wild vegetable stems, so we can cut up the vegetables and just get the stems for... You could probably plant these. Ooh. Okay. Digging stick tinder handmade holy symbol interesting gives some bash and cut protection but it must have really low coverage though coverage is zero percent a simple necklace representing a religious faith i wonder if it does anything to be wearing a holy symbol i have no idea we can build a snare trigger that we can then use to make a snare trap that might be a very interesting source of food but i'm particularly interested in a fire drill what's the difference Fire drill, simple item, two pieces of wood and some string. Constructed of simple materials is slow and rather difficult to get a fire started. Or the fire drill. Fire drill, simple items are on fire, made of two pieces of wood and some string. It's constructed out of simple materials, it's slow and rather difficult. Same description. I'm betting one of these comes from like one of the more survival item mods or something like that. They do have slightly different requirements. And that, that'll happen a lot. You'll see more than one way to build something similar. So if we got two heavy sticks, or two by four, and some splintered wood. A splinter wood I think you can get from heavy sticks. We should be able to do something like this. We can get more heavy sticks just by wandering through the woods. I guess the difference is this fire drill has charges and this one doesn't. That's the big difference. Five minutes. Okay, this is a simpler sort of version of it, but it's got limited charges, and this one can work longer. Okay. Stone hammer. We had more rock. Yeah, we just need more rock. Because I think the rock here is brown, because technically we have one, but I think this would currently be used as the, the, the hammering tool. So, okay, we've dropped everything. Maybe, okay, uh, I, I guess... I think it's still rather heavy stick. If I go W for wield... Yeah, we can still wield things from the ground. Like, I can use the knife, but it's really crappy. I think our best bet is still just to use the heavy stick. I thought, am I even going to fight? You know what? No, I'm just going to drop it. We can probably find another heavy stick. Do this, close the door, shift V, make sure there's no threats. We're looking for rocks and heavy sticks. Now, if I map, I'm kind of tempted to go to the south and see what's near us. We'll grab that. We're a little hungry and thirsty. We're also wandering in a rain, which isn't going to make us particularly happy. Let me um, zoom out a little here, just to get a bit of a sense of what's going on. These gray areas are just uh, not super bright. They're at the edge of my vision, basically, um, is what it is. So it's not super clear. Okay, that's a little zoomed out. Not much. Some things are running away here. Turkeys, foxes, which doesn't care. Oh, looks like we're, we're back to an edge of another forest over here. Okay. Um... We got a rock over here, so yes, I want to grab you and do this. Now, with a heavy stick, what I could do, it's tan bark. Tan and rich bark from a tree, useful for tanning leather. Oh, okay, interesting. Um, I could go and, like, just beat the crap out of a bush, smash it to a pulp, and then I get even more wood and materials and stuff like that, but I don't know if that's the most useful way to do things. What is this? A ceramic shard? Okay. Spotted a dog. Oh, is that to our east? It... No, south southeast. Here and here. Okay. I want to avoid that. Um, turn off safe mode. I'm just going to wander out. Scooch and then turn it back on. Keep looking through the underbrush over here. Now, you can turn on auto pickup for things that you're interested in. It'll automatically pick up if they're at your feet or if you, like, you know, loot it from something like this. 
that. Any we got more rocks. I'll have to check that for oh, heavy sticks and things from time to time as well. Nothing. Wild vegetables. Wild herbs. Hmm, probably for better cooking. An opened aluminum can. You can use that for some cooking. Like you can boil water in it. Found a rock. Still good to have more rocks, but we kind of need more heavy sticks, I think, for a few more of our basic. Spotted a giant spider web. A giant web spider. So to our northwest, there's a spider nest. I can put a note. How do I do that? N. Oh, capital N. Spiders! So now, you see there's a blinking green thing for a note, and if I mouse over it, it says spiders in the top left. So I'll remind myself that that is bad. So we'll turn off safe mode, we'll move away from it um, in a not very useful manner. Come on, I keep smashing into trees. Turn safe mode back on. Okay, there we go. Ooh, what is this? Rhubarb! Ooh, rhubarb's delicious. And we'll probably won't enjoy it raw. Now, we are going to need some water at some point. Scrap metal! Oh, thank you! There's a few things we can do. Bee bomb. Alright. Wild veggies. Hickory root. Now, at some point, we are going to have to go into town. Um, sun's glare makes it hard to see. Okay. Just too bright, is it? Absolutely sunny, so I'm comfortable. I'm not getting cold anymore, which is nice. It's not raining. How's my morale? I'm still wet. I'm still drying off. But it could be worse. Now, your focus will automatically tend towards 100. You know, assuming that your morale is not up or down. You know, if your morale is neutral, it will, it will cause your focus to eventually trend towards 100% for normal XP gains. Another glass jar. Oh, we're getting really lucky on the glass jars. I don't know if we need this many. Canola seeds. Oh, useful when we decide to go farming later on. How's our survival skill yet? Yeah. So this is, you know, it is a little bit grindy. Spot another dog here. Yeah. I think we might go. I would still wish we'd found more heavy sticks. I don't think I can just smash a bush as is. Maybe if I wield the rock. It's not like I'm worried. Oh, an open tin can. I'll grab you. I'm not worried about alerting zombies. If we take a look over here, we've got no dangerous creatures. So we'll go ahead and wield a rock. And we will smash to the west. You can hear the whack. That's my own sound. Hear a crunch. Okay, we're going to keep doing this. There we go. Uh, long sticks. I'm gonna grab them. Dispose of the rock. Sword and inventory. Now, the stick has an 18 bash, which is good. You can hear my heart beating as well. If we do the, um, the sort of, what is it called? The pipe command, the vertical line, usually in the same key as backslash, we can wait a little bit. I'll wait like 300 heartbeats. There you go. Just rest up a little bit. So we could smash more. But we would just end up getting more long sticks. Uh, well, maybe. We might get something else as well. I guess I could decide to eat some of these herbs. They don't bring a lot of joy, but they're okay. Oh, rhubarb is actually totally neutral. Oh, that's great! Yes, I will eat that. It doesn't... I guess eating raw rhubarb is fine. I usually find it a little bitter, but it even quenches my thirst a little. Um, my perception's dropping. Oh, it's the glare that hit is hitting. That's all it is. Okay. So, this is also going to take up some... Or clear up a little bit of inventory. Not enough, though. Okay, we can just come back now that we've got this. We can make some extra storage. We, we need some cloth or something. Spotted a dog. Okay, that's mostly okay. Do I have room? I probably have room for another rock. I might be able to craft in place, actually. Um, I can hammer a spike. Yeah, actually, I want to do this. I'm going to make a spike from the scrap metal. Excellent. We crafted that, which is wonderful. Because... Ooh, I can't do it. What do I need for the knife spear? A long stick, a spike, a rag or felt patch or leather patch or fur pelt. Or string or withered plants or duct tape. Basically, I want to make a spear. And the advantage of a spear for combat is that it has reach. And once I've got a spear, I will feel fairly confident about taking out 
um, like one basic zombie at a time kind of situation. How are we going to get... Um, if I want to make a makeshift um, crowbar... Search for crowbar. I need a pipe. I would have to smash something that's got a pipe. I'm wondering about going and trying to smash open that other door. I think I'm going to have to do it. Okay, let's, let's run back up to base camp. Which is... Over this way. Oh, we didn't actually have safe mode on. But... We might be able to do a lot just by smashing some of the cars apart, too. Come in here. I'll leave this on just for the light. I'm going to go ahead and drop... Can I drop everything? There's not an easy command for that, is there? Uh, I don't think so. Um, okay, that's fine. But yeah, I kind of want to drop all the things. Boom. And we'll keep the long stick because I'm going to do smashing with that. I'm going to double check our craftables here. I can make a makeshift knife out of the spike, but that's basically what happens with the knife spear, I think. I guess I've already made one, effectively. Well, I mean, I got a stone knife. The stone knife has the same stats as the makeshift knife. It might have different combat stats, and I think it does. I think this is better at combat, but it doesn't matter. Cudgel, pointy stick. Pointy stick does not have a reach. I mean, it's not bad at attack at a 4-8, but... Pebbles. I can make all the stems and seeds and things, which we're not interested in. Uh, oh, I should... I should make a stone hammer, I think. So, the stone hammer has a hammering quality of 2, which is better than the rock, which has a 1, I believe. It's basically stick plus rock plus wrapping. On the other hand, is it the priority? I guess I'll hold off for now. So, I'm a little concerned. But yeah, what I'm going to do... Oh, can I make a lockpick? I think I can, right? Uh, improvised lockpick. And I'm going to hit B to batch it. Oh, I only have enough material to make one. Because I only have one scrap metal left, but that's okay. I will do that, and I will try to pick this lock. I think I have to hit A to apply. Improvised lock pick, northeast. The lock stumps your effort to pick it. Can I keep going? And is training anything? Yeah. I think I'm just going to have to smash it with my stick loud as hell. Hopefully there's no zombies nearby. Okay, I have shattered the door. What? No door there, but why can't I enter this? What, what is going on? Uh, damaged wooden door. Oh, so I have to keep smashing it. There we go. Okay. Let's, um, let's grab the splintered wood nails, the 2x4. We've got more nails and splintered wood over here and we've got a limestone chart and that's it oh well i mean we got nails i guess that was something hmm okay well pointy stick four eight plus two uh what's so my current weapon is long stick it's 18 bash Minus one to hit, but that's a lot of bash. It's also fairly slow. Can be broken down to two heavy sticks. I don't know. I don't know if there's anything else I can sort of sub-break down to something else. I can make a fire drill now. I still don't have water. Now, I might be able to cook something with rhubarb if I had heat. I might be able to cook the vegetables. Uh, if I do a search for just veg, cooked wild vegetables, needs. Let's cook. Uh, or nearby fire. So yeah, if I have a nearby fire, I need a tool with food cooking of two or more. I believe like a sharp stick. That is something that it can do. Pointy stick. Oh, it only has cooking one. Might need a frying pan or something like that. So it feels like we can't do anything with just this. And I don't know if I can smash these controls and have it, like, give us good stuff. I have no clue whatsoever. And I'd rather not cripple that elevator, because it'd be nice to use it in the long run. Maybe that's too far in the future, but it would be nice. I am hungry and thirsty. 
heading back to the school feels pretty dangerous. There's just a house over here, next to a radio station, next to a gas station, next to an arcade. Fast food, hardware store, electronic store. Good god, that would be nice. Probably full of zombies. We might have to just wait until nighttime to do that. The thing with nighttime is vision is dramatically lower for everyone. And I do have night vision, which will help me a little bit. We could still stumble on something in a bad way. But it might be much safer for us to just do it at night. Well, you know what? We've got cars nearby. What can we do with these cars? So, let's examine the sports car over here. It uses electric motors. It's got a bunch of batteries that have a various amount of charge. It's got wheels. As far as I can... It's got working controls. As far as I can tell, this car is, in fact, functional. Wheels are steerable. I mean, not all the wheels are perfect. This one in the back is particularly damaged, I think. It's got a broken headlight. If we go and open the door, some of these might have alarms, but there's no aliens here. Or aliens. Means if I go to O for remove, and I try to remove the seatbelt, I need I need a screwdriver. I'd also need mechanics one, apparently, actually, to be able to remove the seatbelt. Uh, can I open the trunk? But I don't think there's anything in there. How do I check what's in the trunk? I don't know if I'd be just seeing it right now. I think I might. So that one's open. That's that little plus, though. Uh, if I... There's diesel just randomly on the ground. Newspaper. Yeah, I don't know what that means with the little plus. Open this door. Examine... Get items. There's a first aid kit. Oh, my! I bet you I would have been able to get shift V once I was in here or something. A first aid kit? 20... Oh, disassembling. Yeah, so it's full medical kit. Bandages, local anesthetic, rapid healing agents. So it can bandage, disinfect. So it can deal with bleeding and bites. It can't deal with infections. But that's freaking huge! Okay, let's loot more cars over here. Okay, we're on safe mode? Yeah. Um, it's a funky vehicle. Might be a little bit of a bus or a van. There's something over here. Can I just loot it this way? No. Oh, get items. Gold. Really? Oh, it's, it's is it a mining truck? Does it tell me what kind of vehicle I'm in? What if I go this way? Security van. Oh. Get items? Uh, USP 9mm with 15 rounds of ammunition. Did I just find a gun? Popular pistol, widely used among law enforcement, extensively tested for durability, has been found to stay accurate even after being subjected to extreme abuse. I found a gun. Now, guns are super freaking loud! But I still have a gun. With bullets. It's got, uh... JHP. That's what, jacketed hollow points, I think? Hello. Okay. And just out of curiosity with the vehicle. You run on diesel, and you have diesel. Oh, you're you're missing uh, tires, though. That's okay. The fact that you have diesel means we can, like, loot it after. Get items. Another first aid kit. Oh my god. So I guess it makes sense. People will drive with first aid kits. This looks like a cop car. Yeah. See, so look at this. We got some lights over here in this cop car. Hmm. Now, vehicles are very powerful. You can move fast, you can mow down zombies. They do have a fair amount of noise, and they can sometimes be hard to drive. So, I'm, I'm not feeling like I'm going to have to move around with the first aid kit. Although, it might be nice to have it. Let's grab another rock here, just in case, for crafting. Can I search this? Blueberry bush. Right, 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 right. Drop. Yeah, I'll just drop... I'll keep the gun. Uh, I guess I'll keep the lockpick. Just gold. I bet you we can use it for crafting, like, electronics later or something. I never interacted with this computer, did I? 
bypass security. So I have computer skill of one. I wonder if I can hack the computer. Login successful. Press any key. Divert power to elevator. Wait, elevator activated? Elevator controls. Oh my God. Well, we're gonna end on a cliffhanger. I've just enabled power to this elevator. We can go down into the mine. Whatever the heck might be there. <laughs> oh, this is exciting stuff. I've never done this. I've never seen a mine before. I mean, again, I've barely played the game. I've tried to learn the mechanics so that I wouldn't stumble too much with the user interface. <gasps> I'm so pumped. I hope you guys are excited too. We'll see what happens next time. Thanks for watching, folks. See you then.